This is Arma Reforger. We're here on Xbox Series X with the 1.0 update at launch. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So what are we getting here? We have two different graphical options in order to play this experience. The first, which you're seeing now, is a high quality mode, which is a dynamic 4K at 30 FPS, but it's more like 20 something, like 25 to 30 FPS, sometimes with greater dips than that. So it's not really the way I would recommend going. Then at any point, you can switch over to the low quality preset, which bumps down the resolution a little bit further, but you get 60 FPS sometimes. So this is more like a situation where it's kind of like 50 something FPS most of the time. There's HDR support, there is console keyboard and mouse support, so you've got crossplay, and yeah, this is intense millisim experiences where you are out and about fighting others in a variety of scenarios. It took like 20 something minutes to actually get a good match going because there's all these servers where it's got like mods and stuff and those never seem to download and I think all the mods got wiped for this launch. If you're familiar with DayZ, it's the team behind that basically. This is their Millisim franchise. This is kind of like a stopgap between what they're working on with kind of a new main entry in Arma. This is kind of a spin-off to improve their new technology and engine and everything like that. And it will lead way into a larger, more ambitious experience, I guess you would say. So that's exciting. So here we are, it's very large, large maps. Oh wow, that this is ridiculous. We are somewhere out here on this massive level thinking about our life and uh, what's going on. So, yeah, let's let's dive in here. So the servers can be like 120 players, like it says 64 players, but I've seen some with like 100 and something players, and most of them are like 30 players. This is like 30 players here, because it's sort of like a situation where you play, but you're playing with like bots, and it's supposed to be like you're managing bots through like weird role-playing scenarios and stuff because that's your thing honestly the game is a lot of like kind of walking around it's pretty boring i don't know lots of people hate it when i play this one and talk about it because i'm just kind of like a little bit honest of what it is but um uh, yeah if you've played daisy looks very familiar from like uh the design concept obviously the technology has improved a lot but yeah, that's kind of what we have going on. It's just like, it's it's a millisim thing. And some people, they get really intense about it. Uh, the cool thing with the 1.0 update is that we did finally get uh, like helicopters, which is neat. We got uh, achievements. So if you want to get some achievements, they're, they're in the game now. Pretty cool, right? So, uh, it's not to Cold War setting, the new Infusion engine, which is so riveting. Yeah, just edge of your seat action. Oh, look, it's a butterfly. Oh, wow. See, they've made great improvements to their technology here. These clouds move really fast. Must be super windy. Oh, is that a helicopter? Look, there it is. So, yeah, it's got really intense, like, shooting and gameplay and... Ripping action, but you're supposed to play community set server type things to get the real experience of like being a millisim thing and working with others, and it's got like a complex, you know, set of abilities. Oh. No, oh, there goes. There goes that helicopter. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, it's multi platform, the modded library is everywhere, which is great. You got the cross play stuff. You know, you do U.S. or Soviet kind of armor kind of perspectives. You know, you join one team, you do it. There's, like, Arland, which is, like, a smaller island. And then there's Everon, which is, like, a big 51 kilometer, 51 kilometer squared map. And, yeah, the workshop. It's kind of like the modding thing. 
the game masters where you control and set up situations and you know there's like a fog of war and curation as you manage your teams and your squads and your setups yeah it's it's just kind of like you know there's a lot going on in this one and then you got all your outfits you wear and Lots of weird things where people like betray each other and take their clothing and stuff. You're you're getting good loot so that you can walk around and then go shoot some like AIs and some spots. That's that's about as complex as it really gets. I mean it's it's a very straightforward kind of experience, honestly. And uh, a bit of a strange one at that old Alaska base is being taken. You can see there's like a lot of a lot of areas, a lot of conflict, and uh, it's, it's it's really just a large scale experience of shooting things and walking around. I mean, it looks decently nice. I mean, I do wish the performance was better. Uh, the trees still a lot of like 2D trees until you like zoom in, they like kind of load, but that is handled way better than it was at launch. Launch was like a nightmare. Uh, yeah, legitimately a nightmare. But yeah, we kind of like we we played this one when it came out, and we're like, okay, whatever. And then I've kind of checked it out a few times since, and it's just like, yeah, I, I guess unless you really get into it, you have a squad where you sit there and role play your your dreams of military conflict against bots. It's just, uh, I don't know. I just find this very, like, not very engaging or interesting. Okay, where where are we at here? This is, uh, Montanac. Okay, so we've got... Uh, I like that the clouds move and stuff, that's cool. Yeah, so here we are, we're at Montanac, which is a good position for us. So what we need to do is we need to... Well, I mean, the city's kind of cool to explore, but realistically, we have to go over there to Nebraska. Yeah. I mean, I don't really technically have to do anything. There's nothing really specifically to do. I think if we go flush some, like, uh, toilets, there's some achievements and stuff. But as I was saying, like, if you're familiar with DayZ... Oh, and the servers are hot garbage in this, by the way, too. Uh, oh, wow, there's a helicopter. I should try to fly that helicopter. Yeah, this this game is uh, it's it's questionable sometimes performance, but like as I was trying to get into, if you play DayZ, you should be so familiar with like the types of buildings, the layouts, the design of this. It's yeah, not gonna be surprised when you know they use this map as like basically the stuff for DayZ. I would imagine combat hygiene flushed an in-game toilet. It's like I flushed this down the toilet. Am I right? What are the other ones? Let's see, I know there's some other silly ones. Interacted with a piano and a pipe organ. Where are you gonna find a piano in this city at this time of, like, day? At this hour? In this economy? Oh. I guess we'd have to go to, like, a church or something, right? Or, like, a pipe organ. It's probably, like, a piano in one of these places. I don't know. If you like the Millisims, this is... The most millisimi of them all. You might want to go for something strangely more action-packed. I guess you would kind of look into, like, Hell Let Loose, I suppose, or, like, Insurgency, but, uh... You know, the, the people that do this one, or the people that like to play this type of game, will be like, those ones are basically not even millisims, and I'll be like, yeah, okay, whatever, I guess. Because there's... Believe it or not, varying levels of uh, snotty, snooty attitudes in regards to how people interact with these types of games. I know, shocking, right? But uh, it really is its own whole like ecosystem of players. But yeah, if you want to pretend to be like a soldier, you know, it's, it's like really in depth. I just can't wait to see how they use this technology for Daisy too, because we know that's in development. That intrigues me more than any of this stuff, honestly. Okay, hopefully there's like a pipe organ in here so I can get my achievement. This is so much more detailed than Daisy, it's hilarious. I'm starting to think there might not be a pipe organ in this place. Oh, maybe up here? How do we get up there? 
I see a second level. I do not see stairs to enter it. We've seized the objective. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so glad I could contribute to this. That's the pipe organ. What kind of house would have a piano in it? Believe it or not, this is more exciting than going about actually going and doing anything. A piano. What kind of buildings have pianos? I'm trying to think of like DZ where it's like certain houses always have like the same kind of thing. At least all the furniture is like really detailed. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more impressed by the what the engine's doing than what you're actually doing with the engine. Which is not the greatest of things. I don't know, maybe the full armor experience when they do that one will be interesting, but like... This just really doesn't resonate too well for me. Bam! There we go. Oh, the succulents. I just can't stop thinking of Starfield and the succulents. But, you know, you can interact with stuff, shoot things, it's like, yeah. It'd be cool if there was actual, like, action that happened in these buildings. Yeah, you know, the more I play this, the more I'm like, I can't wait to see this being deployed with DayZ. That's gonna be interesting. Because it'll actually make it, like, a visually pleasant experience. Anyways, we should probably go and, I don't know, try to find somebody to shoot or something. And turn on our law lights, fog lights. There we go. There we go in the third person. I guess I should get out of the vehicle too, and then you can see third person. So you click the right stick. Oh, don't like lie down. Yeah, so you the right stick allows you to see third person. First person, you click it and like well not click it and you like double tap it. I guess you could hold? No, holding will change your shoulder perspective. Oh no, I'm stuck now in the... the left shoulder. This is a nightmare. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's get in, let's drive, because we want to show off this area thing. We want to do the helicopter, right? Yeah, let's try to... let's go back to that helicopter and show that off. What a fun drive. Okay, I think we came in this way, right? This is really all about the achievements, is what it is. It's time to put the good name of Sky Captain to good use and fly. Co pilot? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm flying this bad boy. Oop, just gotta awkwardly... You teleported me over? This is supposed to be a really hardcore simulation game, and you teleported me over. Alright. Oh, this doesn't even work. The um, propeller blades are destroyed. <laughs> Well, that's not going to take me very far. That's funny. That is actually funny. Alright, let's get into the driver. That is... Ah, that is a good chuckle is what that is. I will not be showing the helicopter off. I believe I didn't even realize that as I drove, drove by earlier. Guess I wasn't really looking for that, though. I was looking for a piano to play. And a cause. Alright, here we go. I got the need for speed. So yeah, you just kind of like drive around and you hope something happens occasionally. Like I'll probably run into maybe some AI if I drive long, long enough and come across some, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't find it very, very intriguing, honestly. It's just kind of like, kind of wandering around, driving across the countryside. Oh, looks like there's, uh, some conflict up here. Yeah, it definitely looks like there was some conflict. 
Yeah, this this is where the action happened at some point. Another destroyed helicopter. These things are allegedly very hard to drive. Okay, so nothing here. There was something here. Can I use my map in the... No, I think I gotta get out for this. That's because the wrong thing. I got my binoculars up. Alright, so we were at Louisiana. We're here at entry. Oh, I see. Okay, so we just gotta keep going. Okay. Okay, don't admire your gun. We need to drive. I think it's over to, like, the left here. There should be, like, conflict going on. Another destroyed helicopter. Oh, <gasps> there's people. Real people. Just kidding, most of these are probably bots. This is when the real simulation starts. Just like the simulation. What is performance? As you can tell, it's gripping edge of your seat combat. <laughs> you have a spawn point there? Hi, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You and me, bro. Let's do this. Fly us away, man. Fly us away. I'm trying to hide these stupid pop ups. I don't think we're going anywhere. Sorry, dude. I don't think he's playing. We should. We should go on. At least it's really detailed, I guess. I just want those tooltips to vanish. Is there any other helicopter I could use? Hello, soldiers. It's like a true military situation where you just stand around a lot. Hmm. Is there like a drink I can have to get me through the night? Vehicle maintenance. It sure would be nice to have like a vehicle here. Now it's my turn to fly. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. How did somebody even get the helicopter in the spot? This is very weird. I think this whole game is strange. Maybe cares about higher ranks. I'm trying to like trying to get this helicopter out of here. I'm starting to think this helicopter might be stuck. Yeah, this helicopter's not going anywhere. How did this even happen? What a waste of time this is. <laughs> 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 What a waste of time this is. Oh, Armory Forger. 